Remy Ma says it's not important for females to write their own raps, or at least the public doesn't view it as something of importance. Right. I got so much to say about this, so you should just start. <laughs> well, it was a Matt, and she was on the Matt Hoffa uh, podcast. Matt my Hoffa has a podcast. My expert opinion, yeah. For those for those who don't know Matt Hoffa, some regard him as a as a battle rap legend. Some people say he he ruined battle rap for a little bit. It depends on how you look at him. You know what I mean? Either way, he gets views. He's very controversial. He's very talented. And uh, she was on his podcast just speaking about rap in general. And the topic came up about female MCs. And he just mentioned that it it for him, he noticed that, you know, a lot of them have the ghostwriters and it doesn't seem to matter. And this is not we're not just talking about recently. We're talking about there's rumors of Wyclef writing for Lauren Hill, rumors of Jay-Z writing for Foxy Brown, rumors of Notorious B.I.G. writing for Little Kim. So this has always been something that's been in the industry. And when it went over to Remy, she she acknowledged it. She said, yeah, you know what? It's not important. But she also stated that she has always written her own lyrics because I believe one of the good points that could be made is nobody could tell your story better than you can, right? But I don't think this is just a, a, at this point in hip hop where we're at, I don't think this is just a male female conversation. I think this is a hip hop conversation just in general. Is writing important anymore in hip hop? No, There's, that wasn't supposed to be rhetorical. I'm gonna answer it. The answer is no, because we now know of too many rappers who have had people write for them and gain enormous amounts of fame off of it. One of them has a documentary on Netflix out currently where there's no mention at all of anybody ever writing anything for him conveniently, even though they're in the documentary, the people that wrote for him, I'm not going to say the name. I want you guys to figure it out. It's a puzzle. Figure it out. But overall in hip hop, writing lyrics, unfortunately, has gone to the to the to the background. And right now, hip hop is all about how much money you got and how many views you can get to whatever it is that you're posted on. That's where we're at. That's where we're at with hip hop. So anybody who wants to talk about the culture and all this stuff and da 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 da, that's where it's at. Um, look, Biggie Smalls definitely wrote for Lil Kim in the early days. She's that's that she's admitted that. Um, even C's Lil C's corroborated that. Uh, Jay Z in the early days definitely wrote for Foxy Brown, especially when Foxy was featuring on a Jay Z song. I'll be, which I'll be, by the way, was um, uh, a Foxy song. It was one of the singles off her first album. He wrote that. Um, uh, ain't no nigga like the one I got. Right, right, he right. wrote that. Paper Chasing or Paper Chaser on Hard Knock Life 2. He wrote that. You can just hear it. You know what I mean? Um, the Wyclef, the Wyclef writing for Lauren Hill. I, Fuji's Fuji's time. I don't know if that was on her album or just the Fuji's time. But yeah, I I, I I honestly don't believe that, and I think I don't believe it because I really really don't want to. I actually <laughs> regard Lauren Hill as one of the, uh, like a top tier lyricist, and, and I, I I say I'm not saying female, just lyricist. Period. So if I if that if that was to be proven true, that would be that that would, that would crush me. But um, right. speaking to just. Ghostwriting, I think that more, and you're right, you, it doesn't really matter in hip hop today. It doesn't. That's just the climate we're in. But I think it, it more applies to female MCs because a female MC, a female entertainer, let me correct myself, just needs to be that. Just have the body, have the package, have the attitude, might get you some, you know, some media training, know how to dance, know how to flow. And we'll take care of the rest. Right. We we got you from here. I mean, this is not a rapper, but you know, Rihanna doesn't write her own music, right? But Rihanna is an incredible brand. Rihanna does not, she doesn't write her own music. She obviously doesn't produce, but she puts out hits. And why? Right. Who would who would who would see a Rihanna? Look at the star power potential there and be like, you don't write pass next. No. So again, not a rapper, but still it just kind of goes to the point. I think it more applies to women because you don't need. 
rap female rappers today, you don't need to be good. You don't need to be good. You don't need to be good. You just need to have that other shit on lock to sell records. Because Megan Thee Stallion is trash. And she makes herself and the people associated with her brand a ton of money. Bro, she don't even yeah. sell a lot of records. She doesn't even sell a lot of it's her brand. I'm trying to keep a straight face while you say all of this. I, I am. I'm trying real hard to keep a straight face because it's true. It's true. It's it's very true. She's she's very mediocre. And we've talked about extremely mediocre uh female MCs who really got up because they do have that package you're talking about. Of course, the other one I'm gonna bring up immediately is Sweetie, you know. That's the one that comes to mind immediately who just followed that criteria. Another another one that I could think of right now, City Girls. Uh, they're, they're another group. Not I don't get their style of music. Maybe that's what it is, but it's not hip hop to me. Uh, I will always in my heart regard hip hop as something that is lyrically based, substance based and all of that stuff. That's why no matter what era you're in, the J. Coles, the Kendricks, uh, the Drakes even are going to be revered as the greatest, no matter what type of rappers come out because their musics contain substance. And it's unfortunate that we live in a culture right now where everybody is quicker to find the fast route to get famous. I'm gonna mimic the MCs that are out right now and I'm gonna do my hair, I'm gonna get some face tats, I'm gonna do this. And I know that's the quick route to get on as opposed to honing my skills and becoming a stature of a J. Cole, of a Kendrick, of a Drake. And when we get back to, and, and hopefully we get back to a system where people see those guys and aspire to become that instead of just trying to get a few dollars and a few bucks, we'll get back to the essence of what hip hop is and back to when people take pride in the fact that the MC who is their favorite MC has, has actually written the lyrics that you love to rap. It's crazy. Well well, it's well, crazy that you could love this guy and love his music and 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 oh you know why i love him man because of what he's about he's so fucking real he's just like yo i know he don't play no games have you heard his music and he don't write none of it oh the hell you know what the sad part about this is and you 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 just spoke to somebody falling in love with an artist based on the music they hear this is the sad part Unless an A&R or a record exec walks into a Starbucks and just sees you, you've never sung, you've never rapped a day in your life, and they're like, come with me, star. Highly unlikely. So unless that has happened, you as an artist, I'm talking to females now, you wrote your music because you have to come up, right? You got to get out there. You, so you've, you've written music. And right. obviously you wrote music and created content to a certain point where you're now recognized and you got some offers on the table. So up until you signing that deal, you've created all your art and the art you created got you to the point of signing the deal. So here's the sad part. You sign the deal. The label says, I know you wrote all your music. We're going to do a 10 song album. Maybe submit all, whatever you want. We might take two of the songs you wrote, but we got some great songwriters and producers lined up and you are still okay with that. So when they say selling your soul, they mean that in the, in the realest way possible because you can't even write anymore. Something you did, a talent that got you to the point to sign the contract. So to me, that's the saddest part about it. I couldn't get signed and they're like, yo, you can't write your stuff anymore. I'll blow my brains out. It's crazy. And you know what? There's going to be people saying, um, why is it always got to be a male versus female thing? And it's probably going to be females saying that. And my response to that is, you know, get over it because there are male dominated industries just as there are female dominated industries. And no, no, regardless of, I, I understand that there are male MCs who who people have written their lyrics for, and we're not talking about them right now. We're only talking about the women MCs. That's because regardless of where we are in hip hop, there will never ever in hip hop be a female MC who, who is revered as greater than any man. It's just never gonna happen. Lauren right? Hill's up there. 
It's but she will never be ever seen as greater than even Little Wayne. I don't, I don't know. Even have to take it to no, the very no, top. No, no, no. I think even Jay Z. I think not Lord, everybody would agree. Not oh, everybody would agree, but there I, are people who would agree. Okay. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, it's fair. I just want to go on record. I think Lauren Hill is a better lyricist slash artist than Little Wayne, and yes, even Jay Z. I just want to go on record as saying that. It's well doubt said, but I'm saying there's people who who would say that they agree with Little Wayne or or Jay Z being better. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that that is even still debatable. It just it's not even possible because I just named two guys against one female and it's a debate. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be that if I put Jay Z against four other female MCs out right now, it wouldn't be a debate. It would be Jay Z. So that's the issue. And it's always going to be like that. You know what I mean? Females, fortunately for them, there's never going to be a man. Who can sing better than any other than any female. And that's just because being able to sing on a higher register is regarded as being better than being able to sing on a lower register. I mean, I don't know about that, man. You got, like, the dream. He can hit some falsetto. When we talk about the greatest singers of all time, people say Whitney Houston. People say Mariah Carey. People say Adele. Their male names are rarely, rarely brought up as the okay. greatest singers okay. of all time. For, okay, first Unless of we're all. talking, like, Pavarotti. Okay, well, first you know of all, talking? first of all, first of all, I don't know who you're having these conversations with because if, if you, like, if Adele... You dare, if you dare say old blue eyes to me. Honestly. No, hold on for a second, because if Adele... Oh is on your list as the greatest singer no, and not like and not like a billy and not like a billy holiday you know what i meant man you got to stick on the one the one name that you could get 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 your claws into any any of those to. names anyway, i said whitney houston and mariah carey you can't sink no first of all that. first of all billy holiday billy holiday will dust any any of them Patty okay. LaBelle right, dust any of them but i understand the point still that female you still female you right, got to find but a man i know but yeah, but there's also some male singers, Al Green, just just to name one. Never be seen as greater than any of the, the female uh, singers. Anyways, so it's all about perspective, clearly. But more to the point, I was drilling down on females for this segment only because this is what Remy Ma said. I'm bouncing off, trampoline off her situation. Right. But viewing public, what are your thoughts on this, honestly? Because, uh, you know, being a uh, uh, native uh, to Toronto, I don't think there's one female rapper that has her stuff written for her. I don't think there's one. You know why? Because they still on the come up. Now, even once when they, they should, even though some of them need some ghostwriters. That's your own opinion. But once it's they just get, chromos. it's just chromos. Once they once they get to where they need to get to, which is that con contract stage, if that's what they're seeking, will they switch up? Will they get the ghostwriters? I don't know. What are your thoughts? Leave it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. How about this little nugget of a question? Would you be okay if Drake ghost wrote for you and you were allowed to name drop that? Because that's not a bad little look, is it? That's all I'm saying. Okay, I'm done.